Guidelines International Ministries began in 1963 in response to Harold and Darlene Sala's desire to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The dream began with radio. In an era where most Christian radio programs consisted of preaching, the Salas wanted to try something different. Harold and Darlene felt inspired to begin producing five-minute commentaries, targeting the person on the street, not in the church pew. People whose hearts were empty and didn't know how to connect with God. Little did the Salas realize that the seed they were planting would grow into an international ministry spanning decades, continents, and touching millions of lives. Today, Guidelines International Ministries is a trifold mission based on Matthew 9, 35 to 38, and tailored for the information age. Hi there, I'm Harold Sala, and I want to welcome you to our Guidelines International website. Thank you for taking a few minutes to explore the resources that are available to you. Harold Sala's program Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living, currently airs on more than a thousand radio stations around the world in over 15 languages. In response to desperate needs in regions from sub-Saharan Africa to remote Siberia, Guidelines Ministry provides support to orphanages, schools, churches, and pastors. The Salas also sponsor medical, dental, and prison outreaches in partnership with local missionary associates who are familiar with each unique culture. Now in its fifth decade of ministry, Guidelines International has reached people in over a hundred countries through radio, video, literature, and conferences. The Salas continue to nurture their dream. He's been called an improbable evangelist, entering full-time ministry when he was only 18 years old. Before he even completed Bible college, James Robison began speaking in churches, leading week-long revivals, and conducting youth crusades. Before long, opportunities poured in for James and his team to hold crusades in stadiums and indoor arenas nationwide. Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. In the 21 years that he conducted crusades, James Robison preached to an estimated 20 million people and saw 2 million of them receive Christ through his ministry. In 1971, James began hosting a half-hour television program, inviting viewers to get together with James Robison. In addition to his regular show, he was also hosting and producing dynamic primetime specials, receiving the honor of prestigious awards from the NRB. In the early 1990s, James and his wife Betty began co-hosting Life Today, a uniquely formatted talk show enabling them to interact with a wide range of guests. A regular feature of Life Today focuses on the compassionate work of their humanitarian ministry Life Outreach International, a faith-based organization committed to expressing God's love in both word and deed, Life Outreach International has ministered in 50 different nations across six continents. Decades of continuous feeding programs in Africa have helped save the lives of an estimated 7 million children. Today, more people are coming to Christ in a single year than in the Robison's first 20 years of ministry. God has called this ministry to be a trusted place for everybody that says, I want to do something, but I can't do it by myself. I want to join someone to get this done more effectively. And that's what Life Outreach has become. Radio 4 VEH transmitted its first broadcast over shortwave radio on June 2nd, 1950. The station's founding fulfilled the vision of American missionary Brother G.T. Buston to begin a radio station called the Evangelistic Voice of Haiti. In much of rural Haiti, people live without electricity, newspapers, or television. With 80% of adult Haitians functionally illiterate, 
Radio 4VEH is a daily lifeline serving listeners with Bible reading and teaching, prayer and praise, news, health and farming advice, community messages, and more. From its broadcasting center outside Cap Haitian, Radio 4VEH reaches as many as one million listeners, broadcasting on AM, FM, and on the Internet in Haitian Creole and French. Through evangelism and distribution of solar-powered radios fixed tuned to Radio 4VEH, entire communities are being transformed with the gospel. Many listeners say that they turn on their radio as soon as they wake up in the morning and don't turn it off until bedtime. In a troubled land on which many have given up, Radio 4VEH serves as a reliable beacon of hope for the future. Television has been Jerry Rose's passion and calling since he began his broadcasting career back in 1964. A renowned broadcast veteran, Rose serves as president and CEO of the Total Living Network. TLN has owned and operated TV stations in California, Illinois, and Nevada, and an affiliate group of over 160 Christian television stations nationwide. The Total Living Network produces and delivers biblically relevant and compelling programs via broadcast, cable, satellite, and the Internet. Looking for in-depth discussions on the issues of the day? Turn to Significant Insights, hosted by Jerry Rose. Under the leadership of Jerry Rose, the Total Living Network has gained both national and international recognition including 12 Emmys from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Jerry has been honored personally with a number of distinguished awards, such as the Silver Circle Award for serving the Chicago broadcast community with excellence for over 25 years. Jerry Rose has long been an active member of the National Religious Broadcasters Board of Directors serving on the executive committee for more than 25 years and as NRB president for three years in the late 80s. He's the author of several books, including GPS, God's Plan for Significance, a roadmap for the rest of your life. Today, Jerry Rose continues to distinguish himself as host of Newsmakers, Total Living with Jerry Rose, TLN Live, and the popular teaching series, Journey. These programs are part of the Total Living Network's goal to edify and enlighten the soul, nurture the mind, and inspire viewers to live a healthy and significant life. Teen Challenge was established in 1958 by David Wilkerson, an Assemblies of God pastor who left a rural Pennsylvania church to work among teenage gang members in New York City. Wilkerson gained national recognition by co-authoring The Cross and the Switchblade in 1963, a landmark bestseller with over 50 million copies published in more than 30 languages. The Cross and the Switchblade depicts the conversion of notorious gang member Nicky Cruz, who himself became an evangelist and author of the autobiographical Run, Baby, Run. In 1970, The Cross and the Switchblade became a celebrated Hollywood movie starring Pat Boone as Wilkerson and Eric Estrada as Cruz. I've got one thing to say to you. God loves you. From the earliest years of Teen Challenge, David Wilkerson saw the need to communicate through mass media the only real hope of freedom from compulsive substance abuse. He began hosting a weekly television series featuring former drug addicts giving testimonies of their new lives in Christ. Ten years ago, 
Teen Challenge began producing national radio features recounting true stories of addicted students who found help through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Three years ago, the ministry branched out into television, sharing similar real-life accounts of deliverance and freedom through Jesus. Their goals have never changed, and neither has their tagline, Teen Challenge, the faith-based solution to the drug epidemic.